I don't know who you are, but you're tougher than you look. <laughs> it's actually quite exciting. Now, let us continue, shall we? Well, well, well. Ready to lose again, Silver Devil? I'm not gonna be as foolish as I was back at Horror Fest 6, gentlemen. This time, I'm gonna take you out and kill you. Finishing you off permanently. Well, this sure is interesting. I must say, I'm honored to be fighting the great and powerful Lord Mask himself. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Great. I gotta work with you? Trust me, Goblin. The feeling's mutual. Let's just get this over with and take these guys out. Do you know why I love Daring Do so much, Shadow? She never gives up. She doesn't rest until the villain is defeated. No matter what anyone says about her, they can mock her all they want. But Daring Do never gives up. She's not there to make friends. She's there to save the world. That is why she is one of my favorite characters in MLP. That is why I always read this book. Hello, sunshine. <laughs> Did you miss me? Are you sure you wish to face me, Jingles? Because if so, you're just asking to die a painful death. You can't kill the Grim Reaper, Mr. Razorblade. And don't worry, this fight won't last so long. <laughs> I don't even know if you'll call it a fight, really. <laughs> Lucky you, Sinister. You get to fight me, Thorn, Master Warlock. Are you scared? Hmm. Come on, Grandpa Lycan. Hurry up. <coughs> <laughs> Here's something else. I fought countless enemies in the past, all incredibly powerful. I am assassin. Super strong. I've even had my own students. Taught them the ways of killing. But you... You are by far the strongest opponent I've ever faced. <coughs> I... <coughs> I respect that. <coughs> I hope to fight you one day again. White rabbit. <sighs> okay. Let's hope this works. Mios vita rege tronefario coepto. And that was our plan, Krandis. No doubt, Grandpa Lycan already performed the spell. You're finished. Fascinating, Didac. All of you working together, having the Lycan perform an imprisonment spell on my men. Gotta say, I never would have thought of that myself. However, ruling the world does come with a bit of sacrifice. Do you honestly believe I care what happens to my men? As long as I rule, I have the power. I could care less what happens to anyone. And with this, I will rule the world. 
You think of me as a monster, Didact. I don't think you're a monster. I know you're a monster. Indeed. But what if I told you that the holidays made this happen? That they're the ones to blame for all of this? That's just typical villain speech. Like you always say. Right. Typical villain speech. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering, how do I know all of Silver Spine and the inmates and Foamy the Clown and Jingles and everything that's happened here? You may say, oh, it's because, you know, you have powers and overhear things. But that's not the truth, Didac. I'll let you in on a little secret. Me and Santa Claus were cut from the same cloth, literally. I'm his other half. Long time ago, before Santa Claus was even a thing, the holidays joined together to promote him, honor him as the newest holiday in the group. But before he could do that, they needed to do a cleansing of any unwanted evil. So that's what they did. They popped him in the oven. And then I came out, his dark half, his other side, what they called me. I just wanted them to accept me for who I was. They saw me as a monster. They imprisoned me in the wintry Arctic. They imprisoned me for thousands and thousands of years. Because they saw me as a monster. They didn't even give me a chance. They just looked at me and threw me away like, like some sort of thing. So yes, this is their fault. If they had accepted me for who I was, I wouldn't be here right now fighting you, Didac. But... That doesn't matter, does it? Bow down! The power of the lichen staff is powerful. Must fight it. All the holidays shall suffer, Didac. Especially Christmas, the glutton of a holiday. Christmas is the most celebrated holiday around the world. You hear Christmas music after Halloween. You see Christmas decorations during November. Every single holiday is ignored, but that doesn't mean they're not all gonna be defeated. Once I kill off every single holiday, I will be the new ruler. And you all will bow down to me. If not, you all shall die. <laughs> Puppet Master, don't! Why does this look so familiar? <gasps> Where? Where am I? The future. Or better yet, the world that you will rule over. It's quite a sight, isn't it? Nothing but emptiness and void. This is your future, Krampus. This is what will happen if you succeed in destroying the holidays. No. No, 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 this isn't possible. This isn't what I wanted. Where are all the humans? Where is everyone? There's nothing here. It's completely empty. What's going on? This is what you wanted, Krampus. Emptiness. Void. This is what happens when you destroy the holidays. Good and evil, death and life, must all have a balance. You break that balance, Krampus. Therefore, the world erupts into chaos. Everything that used to be has been destroyed, leaving only you in your own mess. The horsemen of the apocalypse shall appear and end your life and then destroy this world of nothingness because of you. 
I know we can't kill him. We can imprison him. If we kill you, Santa Claus dies as well. We can't let that happen. The balance of life and death is on the line, and I will not let that happen. Accept your fate. Otherwise, I have no choice but to imprison you here forever. I'll make your choice. No. No. This isn't what I wanted. Being alone is the same as being imprisoned. No. This is... I just wanted revenge. Nothing more, but... If this happens, this is a fate worse than death. Lord Puppet Master. I accept your claims. I will go back to my prison. I don't want this. Nobody would want this. A wise choice.